Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to start a new series called Quick Tips. And these uh, quick tips are to answer questions from you guys. And one question that I did get is how do you import video into your blender scene? And more specifically, into a grease pencil blender scene. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm opening up Blender. And I'm going to click on 2D animation to start up a 2D animation scene, a grease pencil scene. I'm going to scroll out a minute. And the first thing that I need to know is that um, I've got a, an object here in the outliner. It's called a stroke. And this is where I can draw. If I start drawing, um, I can start drawing here. I'm going to undo that. But I want to switch back to object mode because I'm going to import an object. And so I want to switch back to object mode to get this add menu. This add menu allows me to add an image. You're not going to have add video, but you can add an image, a reference image. And the most uh, confusing part is that if my video is on the desktop and I don't see it, I don't see it because I, I clicked on image and you you're, you may be thinking, wow, I clicked on image, there was no import video. So that means that I can't input my video, which is completely wrong. All you have to do is filter out here and go to movie files so we can see movie files and there it is. There is my reference footage. Click on it and load reference and there it is. My reference footage, now if I hit play, I am going to end this at 100 and hit play. One thing that uh, kind of caught me off guard is sometimes it tends to go in slow motion. It's building up in memory. So just let it play a couple times so you can see it in full, full uh, speed. And then if you also want to, if you select here, and you go to the object data properties. You can always click on transparency and make it transparent so you can draw over it. Um, you can also change it, um, scale it, and move it around. If I if I need to make it smaller, and I need to put it out here somewhere, I can I can move it around. Also, you can also bring in. I'm going to go back to object mode, which I am, and I'm going to add another one. Go to my desktop. Remember, you have to click on movie files and I'm going to click on this animation. It's just a walk cycle animation. You can bring in your own animation files, your own animations that you've done in Blender, render them out and then bring them back in for reference. So I'll show you what that looks like. And you can see that you can load animations that you've done in Blender and you can load footage, video footage that you've shot in your phone or your camera. So I hope that helps guys. I'm gonna do a couple of these. Uh, let me know how you like them and remember uh, to like, comment, subscribe and all that stuff. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one.